Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I just want to thank all my old subscribers and welcome my new subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos. Do you have enough food in your house to feed your family should something happen? Should there be a storm and knock out power and you can't get out to the store? Or unemployment? Or some other kind of emergency? Do you have a week supply, two weeks, one month, six months, a year supply of food to feed your family should something happen? It is July 1st and I decided to take an inventory of what I had, what I needed, and what we are going to do for the next six months. For the first six months, we did practically a no spend. Should there been of a great deal, sure, I would have bought something. But I didn't because I didn't need anything. And we ate from what we had in the house for the first six months. So going forward, this is what we're going to do. So right now I am in my cold room, what I lovingly call my cold room. And this is where I keep all my home canned products, everything, basically, that I home can is stored down here. So from January to... June 30th, today is July 1st, we have been eating our whole I haven't brought any meats ex except for one thing. We bought some spare ribs for the holiday and that was it. Otherwise, we've been eating from here. So today what I'm going to do, July 1st, is go through everything basically that you see here and take an inventory because what we want to do or well, what I want to do is see if we can eat down some of this food to within a year supply. Now we have a lot more than a year supply on most things. Like for instance, jam. This is grape jelly jam, whatever you want to call it. This is, there's another case here. There's a case here. There was a case up the top here, but we've eaten that. This is peach. Um, we have Blueberry jam. There is so much of it. And we want to eat it down to a year supply. So what I have to do is take an inventory of what I have. I know what approximately, give or take, depending on um, what we use the jam for, will dictate how long it will last. Like sometimes I put it in... Um, Desserts, we use it obviously for sandwiches and stuff like that, but sandwiches, desserts, and maybe something else, um, that will tell me how much I need for the year. And I want to be able to save that and eat the rest. Down here we have pie fillings. There's apple, blueberry. There is my home canned pectin. And what's in the back? I don't even know. Probably more grape jam. Yep. Grape jam. So I want to take an inventory of what we have here. Six months, this area, I want to be able to eat down. And then I know what I have, like I said, for the cold room. What I typically what we typically eat in a year. And I want to eat the excess of that. So I basically want to leave a year's worth of food in this long-term short-term sort of area now back in the back there you're not gonna be able to see it i'm not gonna turn on the light there is enough food for a year in the 30 plus long-term storage long-term storage basically in the back in cases back there that we're not going to touch so no matter how much we eat out of these areas we will always and still have a year supply but it's getting to the point where we're like running out of space for stuff until we move and have more space this is what i have to work with so I'm, we want to eat down this a little bit because it's starting to spill out of here and I don't want to turn you around because my office looks horrid. But just say there are stuff that is um, not in the closet. And basically, I do need to stock up on a couple of things. Like, I just found this. 
powdered peanut butter. Now, peanut butter has gotten hard for me to find. This is the brand. This is, well, Market Pantry, Good and Gather. This is Target brand. This is the one we like to eat. But I have had a hard time in the Targets finding it. So I actually picked up some of this. The smaller bottles of Skippy. To sort of supplement that. I want to get a year supply of that. I know we don't have a year supply. I'm having a really hard time finding it. Just got a shipment of it. And these are 10 jars. That's the most I could order at one time. And I went to order 10 more. And it says they weren't in stock. So basically this is... I want to say 64 ounces. Oh, 40 ounces. Okay, 40 ounces. And that will last us probably a week and a half, maybe two weeks in my household. So we would literally have to have 104 jars, yeah, to make a year supply. So two a month or thereabouts, two and a bit. But we do everything with that. We put it on oatmeal. We put it on sandwiches. We put it in cookies. Peanut butter cookies are our favorite for half the family. And we just do a lot with it. So it's hard for us to put up a year's worth when we can't find it. So before everything went on, this is the size we used to get. And that's 64 ounces. It's the bigger jar. And I haven't been able to find this in probably the last six to eight months or so. And it is non-existent. I think they stopped making it. So I've gone down to this one size here which is the 40 ounce and that's what I'm trying to stock up and make a year supply of it like I said we probably go through one of these every week and a half to two weeks or so so it's getting harder to find this one because I don't know if they're just making them smaller or there's a shortage what the problem is but this is the brand we like to eat and it's getting hard to find. So I'm going to try this. Like I said. Sure if I. I mean I guess it would do okay. In say like a. A cookie or something like that. I'm not sure how it would be on. Bread. If we made it up and spread it on bread. But I'm going to try that. And see if it works. At the Target brand peanut butter. As much as I possibly can. And try to get a year's worth a year supply of it so here is going to be my main focus the freezer it's the only one i have and as you can see it is crammed full there is a turkey in here that i had from last thanksgiving when all was said and done i think that turkey was like three dollars or something um it's just so full there is eggs and veggies and sausages and hamburger and yeast i have um, peppers and onions and veggies from last year's garden in here there is so much in here that it almost can't close most days so we in the next six months want to eat as much as we can to get this freezer down as much as we were eating before the can meats and veggies we're going to be eating these ones going forward so for the next six months i'm going to be clearing out this freezer this is going to be my challenge freezer challenge basically clear out my freezer and eat as much as i can from my freezer as well as my cold storage and my long-term storage in excess of one year supply so that's going to be my goal for the next six months Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload videos.